Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I actually have a haul to share with you guys and this is from Bath & Body Works. It's their new scent, Perfect in Pink. I have a few items from the Perfect in Pink scent and I think I have a few additional holiday items as well. So if that sounds interesting to you, I would love if you stick around and watch this video. Also, if you do enjoy content like this, I would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button. And we're gonna go ahead and just get right into this today. All right, guys, so all I have done is open up the top here. So we're going to go ahead and see what's inside. So I got a few things. Like I told you guys, it's mostly the perfect in pink. So this is what it looks like. So I actually got a few Perfect in Pink items, like I told you guys. So first of all, here's the mist. So this is the new Perfect in Pink mist. It's really pretty. I'm hoping the lighting is okay for you guys right now. But that does look really pretty. So this is their new scent that just came out pretty recently. I mean, I had to wait for mine to be shipped. And I also waited for a seal. I got these actually for a really good deal i think it was like 5.95 per item so it wasn't too bad then i also got a few other things in perfect in pink i ended up getting this perfume mist i actually got this with a reward so that's what this one looks like i have it upside down sorry guys so this is what it looks like. Next up, we have the body lotion. I also got this with a reward. So it was a fragrance mist sale, I believe, and everything was $5.95, but I did use a reward for both of these items. And then they also did have a seal on their hand soap. So I did get one hand soap. I don't know. None of the other ones looked that great to me. I kind of like fresher scents for my hands, even though I do like gourmand scents for my body. When I wash my hands, I just like them to be really fresh. So I went with this tree farm scent. So we'll see how that smells. And then last but not least, I actually picked up a fragrance mist in the snowflakes and cashmere and this is because i just picked up the body cream in this scent so i'm gonna try it out and see how i like it i'm not the biggest fan of this scent but we're gonna see how it goes and maybe it differs from year to year i had this scent in the past but it just wasn't really my thing at the moment so we're gonna see how it smells now and maybe it's changed it a little bit hopefully but the cream actually smelled pretty good in my opinion, so I wanted to try out the mist and see how it went this time. I also really wanted to get the Bright Christmas Morning scent, but they did not have that online in Fragrance Mist, even though it was pretty much supposed to be out at that point, I think. They had the other items in Bright Christmas Morning, but they did not have the mist. I actually picked up the body cream in... A, I think it was a holiday preview and then I never got a chance to actually get the mist but that's a really juicy fruity scent and I definitely want to pick up the mist in that too. So that's pretty much it here. There's nothing left in the box so I'm going to go ahead and get situated and sit back down in front of the camera to give you guys some first impressions. So I'll see you in just a few minutes. All right, guys, so I am back and I have all the items right here. So we're going to go through them and I'm going to give you guys some first impressions. So it's pretty much just this perfect in pink scent. I actually have this other one, the Snowflakes and Cashmere. So let's smell this one real quick first. So this one is Snowflakes and Cashmere. And the fragrance notes on here are Vanilla Cashmere Cream, Caramel Woods, and Frosted Clementine. So this one, I was a little bit torn in the past about that clementine note. I wasn't a huge fan of that at all. So I want to 
try this one out again and see how it smells. And if I do not like it, my daughter does like this scent. So I'm just going to give it to her if she, if I do not like it. So let's give this a try. So I'm going to go ahead and just spray it in here and let it kind of dry down for a minute so I don't get just a burst of alcohol. Okay, so it's pretty much the same scent that I remember. This one might be a little bit better than mine. The one that I had before, I actually got rid of it. It does smell a little bit creamier and it seems like there's a little bit less clementine unless I'm just not picking up on that as much this time. But I'm thinking that this actually could be wearable for me this year. So I am going to try this one out on my body and kind of see how it goes for me. I will definitely keep you guys updated. It does smell pretty good and I am definitely getting more of that caramel this year. Not as much as of the clementine. So that's a plus because I don't like the clementine note very much in this scent. That's the one thing that kind of turns me off from this. It doesn't really seem too heavy on the clementine this time. So I'm hoping that I will be able to use this one. It actually does smell pretty good. I think when it dries down, it's going to smell even better. So I'm definitely going to give this one a chance. I never had the body cream to snowflakes and cashmere. So now I, that I do and I compare these together, I can give you guys a better kind of like review on this. So definitely stay tuned for Fragrance Friday because I will try out these scents and let you guys know then. So now I pretty much have just the perfect in pink. I did pick up this little hand soap and this is just in Tree Farm. They were having a sale on the hand soap as well. They were like $3.50. So I just want to pick up one. So the fragrance notes on here are crisp pine needle, warm cedar, and spiced apple. So that sounds really good. Like I said before, I don't really like really sweet and gourmand scents for my hands when I wash my hands. I tend to like more like fresh scents for my hands. I can do other scents, of course. Um, right now I am using like a pumpkin cupcake one. So, I mean, I do use more gourmand scents as well. But I just prefer like a fresher scent for my hands just because they feel cleaner that way. And I don't know, it's probably some kind of like mental thing where you think your hands are cleaner when they smell fresh or something like that. But this one was kind of just a last minute throw in for me. I wasn't even going to get soap and then I went through them and I just saw this one. That actually smells really good. I think this one is going to be really good for my hands. I definitely would not want my body to smell like this because it definitely smells like pine trees. You don't really get much of the apple. It's definitely giving like tree farm. If you've ever been to a tree farm and you do like the you cut trees, that's what it's giving and I like it. I think it's going to be really nice for the hands. I would not be using this on my whole body. Like if this came out in body care form, I would not be picking this up because it does definitely smell like a fresh pine tree. You know, there's a little hint of something else. Um, it must be the apple in here, but it's mostly like a woody kind of fresh scent. So now let's look at the Perfect in Pink stuff that I picked up. So I got this fine fragrance mist in the Perfect in Pink. I'm actually wearing pink lipstick for once because of this Perfect in Pink scent. I don't usually do bright colors on my lips ever, but I thought I'd just try it out for something a little different. And since this Perfect in Pink scent just came out, it goes hand in hand with that. So I also got the body lotion in this one as well. And I picked up the little perfume mini. So I'm really hoping I like this scent since I did get it in so many forms. All right. So I don't know which one I should try first. I'm thinking the fragrance mist and then we'll go on from there. So the fragrance notes on here are vibrant cherries, pink camellia, and whipped almond cream. So that sounds 
amazing. I do like cherry scents, but there are some cherry scents that I really don't like as well. So I'm hoping this is going to be a good cherry scent. Usually the more gourmand cherry scents I do like. And then the scents that go more toward like a black cherry scent or a more sophisticated cherry, a lot of times I do not like that kind of cherry. So we're going to see what this smells like. So they did give a little different nozzle. It's a little pink one. So they definitely kept the theme of this. As far as packaging, it's pretty simple. I mean, there's just a big pink bow on this basically. So it kind of makes you think of Christmas a little bit because the bow and presents and things like that. But it kind of gives Valentine's Day vibes as well in this packaging and this scent kind of gives Valentine's to me. Last year, they actually came out with a scent called Sweetheart Cherry for Valentine's Day. I'm wondering if it's going to be similar to that at all, but we'll see. I can pull that one out and give you guys a comparison if it is really close, but let's see how this one smells. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the cap right there and let it kind of dry down. I'm super excited to smell this one. I feel like I'm kind of late on this one for sure because I do like to wait for sales and get the best deal so I can get the best punch for my money basically. Like I want to get the most I can for my money. I don't want to pay $20 per product. So I always like to wait till a sale hits, like a good sale, like $5.95 or under usually. And then I always have to get things shipped to me because I live too far from the stores. So it's just pointless to try to even drive there. So that's why I am a little bit late for Perfect in Pink, I guess. I've, I haven't really watched any reviews though, so we'll see. Okay, so this is giving something that I'm not a big fan for. So I'm kind of disappointed by this already. Yeah, so this is not really, this is not really what I was expecting. <laughs> I mean, I get the cherry. I was just hoping that this was going to be a lot more gourmand. And this is reminding me of O Cherry from the Everyday Luxury line. And I did not like that scent. Yeah, so it's giving like O Cherry with some more notes in it. And I definitely was not a fan of O Cherry. I disliked O Cherry. And it's funny because I really love Sweetheart Cherry, which was the Valentine's Day scent that came out. But the O Cherry scent that came with the Everyday Luxury is not a fan. I just don't like that kind of scent in a cherry scent. This one's better than that, but... I mean, it's still giving kind of that same O Cherry. I hope it changes on my skin. Like, I'm praying that this doesn't smell the same on my skin as O Cherry. Because O Cherry on my skin was not good. I did not like that. Okay, so let's just look at the lotion now. I'm going to put some of this on my skin, I think. It's kind of disappointing though, guys. I don't know. This one just isn't giving me what I wanted it to give me. Let me know what you guys think of Perfect in Pink in the comments. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be really negative about this scent or anything, but it's just not really what I was expecting. And cherry scents can go back and forth for me. So this, this definitely isn't really what I was expecting. I was expecting something more fluffy from that whipped almond cream note. The camellia, I'm not really familiar with. That must be a floral because I'm getting that same kind of cherry floral as in O cherry. And that just wasn't my thing. So I'm just going to use, oops, whoa, a lot of lotion came out. So I guess I'm going <laughs> to, I guess I'm going to have this all over my hands. Actually, I need to get rid of some of this. So I'll be right back. All right, so I got a little bit off, but I still have quite a bit on my hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that in. So O Cherry actually didn't have a lotion to go with it. So if you do want a lotion to go with O Cherry, this probably would go with it really well. So it's not as 
like bad as O Cherry to me, but it still kind of got those same vibes going on as me. Like I was hoping this would be more girly and not so dark and more of like a fun gourmand sweet fragrance. And this is giving more of those darker vibes to me, more of like a darker cherry type vibe. Um, I mean, it's just not really what I was hoping it would be, I guess. Um, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad on the skin, actually. That like weird note kind of went away a little bit in the lotion form, but this just definitely isn't necessarily my scent. So let's go ahead and try out this perfume. I mean, I'm probably still going to be wearing this a little bit. I want to try it out because it's definitely not as bad to me as the O Cherry scent. I didn't like that one. But it does still have some of the, that smell to it. All right, I'm back. I finally got the stuff off of here so that I could open this. All right, so this is the Perfect in Pink perfume travel size perfume. And I got this with a reward. So I'm going to just use it on this paper right here. And I'm going to let it dry down for a minute too before I smell it. So this scent though, yeah, it's better than O Cherry for sure to me, in my opinion. I know a lot of people like O Cherry and I mean you know, everyone is different with scents. It's just my opinion. So, I mean, you should definitely go in store and smell these for yourself as well, if you can do that. But I'm just kind of weird with cherry scents. They can be really, really good to me. Like one of my favorite scents is Sunset Glow and that has a cherry note in it. And then I also really like Sweetheart Cherry from last year. But then when O Cherry came out, I just didn't really care for that one. And I was hoping we wouldn't get many more <laughs> cherry scents like that. But this one is kind of almost like a mix between O cherry and then maybe a touch of the sweetheart cherry but the sweetheart cherry is so much more sweet and gourmand than the scent and I definitely get that floral in here as well so I think maybe that's what's throwing it off for me if it was just the cherry and the whipped almond cream I think it would have been so much better so it still gives me like these dark cherry vibes and it doesn't even say, it says vibrant cherries. But to me, I'm getting more of like a dark cherry, a black cherry, something more like that. And I'm kind of surprised because this seems more like a vibrant pink, bright scent. Like the way they did the, did the bottles, the way they're presenting this fragrance made me feel like this was going to smell different than it actually does. Because this almost seems more like, um, it almost seems more like an evening scent in a way. So I'm just, I sprayed the perfume on my hand too. Yeah, to me it's like giving dark cherry. So if you like those vibrant bright cherries, I feel like that's not what this is. Like this is not... I mean, it's a little bit like sparkly once it dries down, but the initial burst is definitely more of like a dark cherry. And then it kind of dries down into kind of a blend of this floral cherry scent. And as far as the almond cream, I mean, I might be getting a little bit of almond, but I was hoping for a lot of like fluffiness since it was like a whipped almond creme, like if it was fluffy and just, you know, mouth-watering almost. But I feel like it's just not that. It's just more of a deeper, darker scent. It's kind of... I mean, it's a little brighter once it's on my skin, but I just expected so much more from this fragrance than it actually is. Like, I wanted this to be something it's not, I think. And I'm a little bit disappointed 
it's sad because cherry fragrances can go back and forth for me so much. I never know if I'm going to like a cherry scent or dislike it, but I've come to the conclusion that I don't like like black cherry scents very much or the darker cherry scents. I like like an ooey gooey sweet kind of cherry scent and this just it wasn't what I was expecting. I thought this was going to be like a sweet cherry fluffy scent and I just you know didn't get that from this. It's okay and if you do like oh cherry you probably would like perfect in pink I would guess because it's kind of giving those same kind of vibes. And you could definitely use O Cherry with this lotion and you would probably be doing pretty good. Like those would go together just fine. So maybe I can use something to kind of sweeten up Perfect in Pink. Like I might have to mix this with Sweetheart Cherry or something like that. But usually I just, you know, I was just hoping for something so much different. Like I was hoping for this fluffy cherry scent and it's just not really what I'm getting. Like it's okay. I don't know. I think maybe I'm over cherry scents too. Like I'm getting tired of cherry scents because all these brands keep releasing cherry scents and I feel like we should be getting more of a variety of different things when we keep just getting cherry scents over and over. And for me, you know, with the cherry kind of going back and forth one way or the other, it's really difficult to tell if I can, if I'm going to like a cherry scent or not. And when I have to blind buy all these cherry scents, it's kind of discouraging because like half of them are scents that I don't care for. So it's kind of sad, but I don't know. This is something I'm going to try out. I'm definitely going to try it out on my body. It's not just like Bleh, puke. I don't like this. It's just like, it's just, I'm going to have to try this out. And then I'm hoping that the darker cherry vibes will like fade and this will create like a really good cherry scent on my skin because part of why I like cherry scents is because a lot of cherry scents do go really well with my skin. Um, like the Sunset Glow one, that went, went really well with my skin. Um, probably one of the best cherry scents I've tried. And then like the Sweetheart Cherry is kind of like the runner up. I really haven't tried many cherry scents besides Bath & Body Works in Victoria's Secret. I really haven't tried too many. Actually, I did try an O Cherry scent from Pink and still not the biggest fan of that one either. So I don't know. Cherry scents are definitely a hit or miss kind of for me, but I'm hoping to work with this one, especially since I got it in the perfume, the fragrance mist, and the lotion. Like I got this whole set going on. So I'm hoping that I can at least use it a few times or maybe it'll grow on me. That is totally possible too. If, you know, it grows on me, I will definitely let you guys know definitely check in for fragrance friday and i will give you an update on how it went with these fragrances i would love to know your thoughts about perfect in pink as well go ahead and drop them in the comments i would love to hear i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up if you do enjoy content like this, I would definitely love for you to take a moment and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I do new videos every single week and I would love to have you as a subscriber. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.